What's going on everyone? Zach's Corn Bag Reviews back again with another one. Before we get into the review, I just wanted to remind you to roll over that blocker and hit that like button and finish off the four bag collect by subscribing. So now let's jump into this review and today we're going to talk about the 710 The Goods Bag. This bag is another one of those 5.8 speed herringbone slash game changer wizard variants uh, that like I said before is just taking the bag market by storm and with good reason we've talked about it before but this bag these, this combination is very versatile and it it benefits a lot of players not just one simple type you can be a slider a hole for hole player a blocker a dirty game player a roll bag player, it doesn't matter, you can do everything. So this really benefits a hybrid game and it allows you to play a hybrid game of a variety, whatever you feel. The thing with it is there's everybody's coming out with their own version that at some point in time you might sit there and think, you know, at what point, where does the difference come? The difference comes from how the company makes the templates and how the company fills the bag. That's going to be your biggest variety and that's what's going to cause the difference in the different types of bags that are out there. And with the goods, we have a four bag and that six by six template with a mixed fill, but the fill isn't all bead. It isn't all odd shape. It isn't all flat disc. It's a mix. There's a perfect mixture. I call a perfect mixture in here that allows this bag to be very forgiving with how full it is. It lands super soft. Uh, if you play golf, you would understand uh, like a butterfly landing with sore feet. That's what this bag lands like on the board. It doesn't bounce up. It doesn't kick hard. It's ridiculous how soft it lands, but then those mixed beads come into play and it gives back its versatility. It allows you to roll with ease. I'm telling you, this is one of the easiest bags to roll, and the, the fullness will contribute to that as well. Fuller bags are easier with those rounded corners, are easier to roll. But there's not very many bags that aren't just a straight bead fill that I'm able to roll on command, and this is one of them. It also cuts with ease both directions. If you know how to reverse cut and put a regular cut on it, it's going to do that for you. And at the same point in time, is it still has a, a level of hole forgiveness. I had a couple of bags that hung up on the hole, and I was expecting that with herringbone carpet. Anytime you have those slower speed carpets, they like to hang up on the hole. But with this bag, I would begin my walk down, and then all of a sudden you see it move, and then it drips right in and falls right in the hole. And these were broken in with Toss Sauce new. Not the new Primo yet, I haven't gotten any bags out with the Primo, but I do have a set uh, on the way up for review. But regardless, the break-in with these, it's so good, and that fill just allows it to have a little bit more hole friendliness. This bag is taken my top herringbones uh, by storm. It is, it's just jumped up there. The fill with this bag is amazing. So. I had the Alpha when the Alpha came out. That bag was amazing, loved it. And then the Goaded Bag Co. Bow, loved that one. Two different styles of herringbone, but they both were awesome bags. The goods just jumped up in front of all of those. I don't know what it is. It, it's the fill and then how much you get in your hand. You know that it's going to be a fuller bag and like sweet, awesome. I'm expecting this thing to bounce. Cool, I get that. Nope. It lands with these perfectly flattens out, slides up the board, and then when you want to make those crazy cool cut shots and collects, it does it with these. And one thing too that I'll say with this type of fill is it almost seems like it slows, it's a little bit slower uh, on the herringbone side after you break it in, and I think that has to do with the fill, how it just likes to flatten out. It's gonna have a little bit more friction, so it's easier to control, and that also might contribute to why it's easier to roll because you can get it to catch a little bit easier too when you're trying those crazy cool cut shots. But it's got that forgiveness where it's not going to bounce and kick on you very hard with that bead fill when it flattens out, or with that mix fill, excuse me, when it flattens out. And like I've already said, when it gets up around the hole, you would expect it to stop and hang on the hole. It, it likes to drip in. It might take a couple seconds, 
but it's dripping in. Those beads are going to shift, that fill is going to shift, and it's going to fall right into the hole. So all in all, I mean, this bag is awesome. And we talked about how this herringbone and this game changer fast side is all who it's contributing to and who wants to play it. Everybody. If you're not a crazy fast speed player, you like that more control, that that speed range where you can lay your blocks if you want to, uh, but you don't want to be tied down to one side or the other, or you want to try out carpet, this is perfect. If you're one of those faster speed players and you want to try to come back down, but you don't want to just give up that being able to go hole for hole, this bag's got you. It feels amazing in hand. I love everything that you can do with it, and this bag is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna make a name for itself out there. Go out to 710cornhole.com, spell it out, S-E-V-E-N, one zero.com. Pick yourself up uh, a set of the goods, reach out to those guys, tell them uh, that you saw this review and you wanna get set up with some bags because you need to get your hands on them. It's a great bag and I'm gonna have more than just this one set in my bag for sure. So that's the, the down and dirty on that 710. Please, like we said before, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. If you like what we're doing, leave a comment. Let me know if there's something that you would like to see. I do apologize that I don't have the, the throwing on this one. It's raining crazy over here on the East Coast. I don't have time to get outside. I got enough space inside to throw, but I can't uh, switch side to side of the board and I can't set up a, a camera to record it very well. So it is what it is. You'll have to take my word for it without seeing it. Uh, you see how I throw anyways. Nobody wants to be subjected to that too much. But uh, yeah, there it is. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one.